So this is Cebu from our bedroom window. So today is yet another travel day with our broken bag. I hope this thing survives. <laughs> oh gosh. I feel like this thing's getting fatter and fatter. <laughs> that works. Whoops. So today we are leaving Cebu city and we're heading a little bit more south of the island. Now we've done a little bit of research on how to get there. So I think today's travel day might be interesting. <laughs> to be fast going there you have to ride a taxi going to the south bus thank you so much eh? just a meter to south bus station. yes please so our original plan was in order to go via a jeepney but according to the guy at the hotel it was going to be quite difficult to get to the south bus station so we've decided to rather take a taxi there instead So we've just arrived at the South Bus Terminal and we have no idea where to go. <laughs> it's so busy here. I almost feel like I'm back in Manila. Apparently the entrance is somewhere around the corner. Uh, not entirely sure where. <laughs> picture of him. You want a picture? Oh uh, yeah. Smile. Look <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how it's really. Where? I don't know if it's here. Let's ask that guy. That guy. Entrance that way. That way. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Hi, sir. Can I come through? Yes. What's up? I'm going to Mobile. Mobile. You get ticket there, sir. Ticket there. Yeah. Thank you very much. 198 each, sir. 198, and that's with aircon? Yeah, with aircon. With aircon. Okay, we need to look for door six. Mobile, number six. Way there, hey? Yeah. Mobile. Where's your ticket? He has our tickets. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you gonna give me the VIP seat? Yeah. Your ticket. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. much. So in true Buddy Moon style, we are taking a public bus all the way to Mobile. The oh, one wheel's broken. Sorry. Uh, yeah. One wheel's broken. <laughs> Oops. It's so nice that everyone is so helpful. It's actually quite a nice big bus. There are so many buses here. I think they're going to all parts of the island. North, south, you name it. So I think if you're needing a place to go to anywhere here on the Cebu Island, just come to this station. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Vlog, vlog, vlog. Vlog, vlog smile. Sorry, I'll take photo. <laughs> Everyone's always so happy. Oh, is this spot fun? That's fine. Awesome. Yeah, so we really did not expect a massive bus. So many seats, very spacious. They've even got place to keep your bags on top if you want to keep one with you. And some TVs. I doubt they're going to be putting anything on the TVs, but it will be cool if there's a movie or two. So it is a three hour journey. So it's currently 11 o'clock. So we should arrive in Marble around two o'clock. I see to get some water and some snacks for the road, Hi. seeing that it's a three hour journey. Hi. And where's the shop? Oh, there's a the shop. How much is your water? 15. Can I please get three actually? Thank you. How much are chips? Each is 35. Cheers, enjoy. Okay, so we've gotten chips and water, but let's hope the bus hasn't left me. Run, 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 run. This one, yeah. Oh my gosh, looks like the bus is leaving already. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, <laughs> It almost left without you. <laughs> let's go to mobile. <laughs> This road is super bumpy, so please excuse this jumpy footage. <laughs> it's ridiculously bumpy. I'm joking, but it is. <laughs> what is this for? Uh, ticket. Ticket for? Yeah. Just a ticket? Yeah. And then what's this one? Ticket uh, from terminal. Oh, okay. So, so this same. is terminal ticket. Yeah, it's okay. And this is bus ticket. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they've given us another ticket. Apparently one is for the terminal only and the other one's for the bus. 
but I'm assuming it doesn't really matter. <laughs> We're on the bus already. <laughs> so there's a guy on the bus actually selling water now. So Danny didn't actually have to run to go and get anything. <laughs> oh well, now we know. So I guess this trip's also going to be a Filipino snack review because we've never tried these snacks before. Um, uh, what what's in the pie? Uh, young coconut gel. Coconut. Ah. How much is one? Twelve, sir. Twelve pesos. Twelve pesos. Ah. Okay. I'll take one. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. It is a bumpy ride, eh? <laughs> so we've gotten ourselves a buko pie. That is what they call it. <laughs> a guy was selling it here on the bus. It's super hot. Super hot, and apparently it's sweet. So let's give this little uh, Filipino pie a try. Yeah, you want some water? I breathe in and I got a pie. <coughs> Are you okay? But it is so good. <laughs> Whoa, don't breathe in when taking a bite. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the coconut is not sweet at all inside yet. I've got like little pieces as well, so I can think it's only coconut pieces. It almost looks like porridge inside. Mm. Wow, and a warm, warm coconut. I haven't really had it, but it's like the best part about it is that it's not too sweet. Try it, baby. Okay, I'm gonna give it a taste. Oh, mm. that's good, eh? We should have bought more than one. Yeah, no, where's that guy now again? We need to buy another mm. one. Eh? <laughs> that is super yummy. Yeah, it is. It's quite cool that we can take a bus ride and it's, try new food at the same time. Yeah, usually we have to buy snacks before, and that's mm. why I did it. But over here, there seems to be people coming on like every 10 or 15 minutes and they all have something different to sell. I did not think this ride was going to be as bumpy as it was but we currently just passed the halfway port towards Volvol and it is roughly about 1 o'clock at the moment now so it does seem like this bus ride is going to be 3 hours. It's long and bumpy but I think it's going to be worth it once we're there. These roads going here are very narrow and windy that it kind of feels like you're gonna bump into the oncoming traffic when passing because the bus is just squeezing through and then some of the, the other cars and the bikes are having to stop. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So what's nice about traveling through these cities and through these towns from one area to another is that you get to see how different people live. So the way that people live in the cities and the way people live in the rural areas. It's about 100 kilometers all the way from Cebu to Malbol. But the fact that it takes three hours just show you how windy these roads can be. It's a wild ride. It's so bumpy and there's so many winds. But other than that, it's actually quite a nice ride. It's yeah. very scenic. Very beautiful mountains next to us on the side of the road. We have about a half an hour left till we're there. You can see that the bus is getting a lot fuller now. We're picking up so many people along the way. There has been no movie on the screen. So we've literally just been entertaining ourselves and <laughs> basically just trying to balance. Enjoying the ride. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is our stop. Yeah. We've just stopped now. Um, I've got to look at the maps quickly. I haven't been looking at the maps. Oh no, no. It's now almost 3 o'clock, so I think it's going to be just a little bit over 3 hours. Sorry. Um, we stop at bus station or where we stop for mobile? Yeah, uh, bus stop on the bus stop. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank Thank you. So there is a bus stop in Mobile which we'll stop at and apparently that is in 5 minutes time so almost there. It's been so far almost 4 hours so this is definitely not a 3 hour journey. So we have officially stopped at Mobile. Okay. So our bus has stopped us here in Mobile <laughs> and we're not too far from the bus stop we're literally about half a kilometer so we thought nah Let's just walk it. Walk, yeah. yeah. We've been sitting for quite a long time. Yeah, I need my feet to start walking a little bit. <laughs> a few moments later. By the looks of it, um, on maps this place is pretty close. <laughs> so I thought walking was a wise decision. It wasn't a wise decision. It wasn't a wise decision. Especially in this heat. <laughs> um, sorry baby. It's okay. I won't make you walk again. <laughs> but luckily we are 
Ja. <laughs> so fishing. Oh. It's early. Goodness, it is super, super early. <laughs> Good morning. So this morning we've woken up at 7 o'clock in order to come here and swim with millions and millions of sardines. So out there are the fish. Are you excited, sweetie? I am excited. <laughs> I am excited, but I'm nervous for some reason. I don't know why. No, this is going to be so <laughs> epic. And I've heard you can see turtles down below. So I'm super excited to see turtles and maybe a whale shark. Yeah, they said there is a possibility of having whale sharks over here. So we really hope that we can see them. But the turtles are always a win when you're under the water because they're always gorgeous creatures to see. So I think today we're going to see quite a few awesome fish. But definitely worth the wake up. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Let's go. We have our dive master with us. Dive Hello. master John. <laughs> John, what's up, Blog? There are some tips if uh, your mask is fogged. Either you put a uh, dishwashing liquid or a baby shampoo, or if not, if in case of uh, there's nothing left. You can put your saliva, you can spit your mask and then rinse it and it's good to go. Yes. Yeah, and I Walk don't have backwards. to feel like a duck. <laughs> or else you look like an alien doing like this. <laughs> <laughs> They sometimes don't move at all. It's like a complete wall. <laughs> it's so, so awesome. It's so epic. I'm loving this. 